<laughs> well, they're having fun. Huh? Um, Br Bruno is in kind of the the goose uh, nose position in the front, and then on the left. Oh, you got you got a swastika making obscene hand gestures to, uh, and then Spike. He's looking for uh, thin Turks to beat down and burn down. Mm. Uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, they uh, they contemptuously. <laughs> oh, they just roll around the train station, huh? Yeah, uh, Strauss Plus, Nusshaus Strauss, or they coast past Istrasstrus, and then they were, yeah. Promenade la la plus means plaza in German. There it is. Oh, trendy uh, glass and, and chrome uh, Olympic Airlines office. Huh? Oh, yeah, Onassis owns that, huh? Aristotle Onassis. He owns all the ships in Greece, too, yeah. And, uh, yeah, after um, uh, uh, Jackie Kennedy was a guest on his super yacht off San Tropez, the morning after, she made him an omelet he'll never forget. Um, yeah, there's Strauss in here and Strauss in there without stress. And um, Bardo, what dimension are you in? You don't know at the time. Pasha, look, Pasha, he hugs swastika deeply sincerely kind of manly a little bit and then spike hey give me a spike uh in my chest oh a hug and then bruno wet kiss on the lips and uh uh these tough bikers not See, <clears throat> the home lawn, the raw, right, land, Deutsch, Teutonic, let's burn the world down land. Uh, um, yeah, they're deeply touched by the kindness of Pasha. And they get kind of misty eyed. I mean, they wish their fathers had been kind to them. Like that, huh? Yeah, back on their bikes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rowing away, making obscene finger gestures to foreigners along the roadside. Good vibrations all around. Oh, um, well, uh, the Olympic Air uh, Lions clerk, she supposes that Pasha has just uh, rolled out of a German beer tent. <laughs> oh, and she apologizes that the next flight to Istanbul, they make a brief stop in Thessaloniki, Greece on the way. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, uh, you'll never know uh, when you'll need a human's helping hand. In some far away land, unfamiliar, when you are caught with your pants down. Or no pants at all. Naked, broke, don't speak the language. Pasha just learned a lesson for his whole lifetime. Guardian angels come in all shapes and sizes. Well, on board the jet at the Munich airport, uh, Basha takes a window seat, takes some photos photos there, huh? Oh, yeah, he's got highlights of Europe, München, huh? Englishlander Park, strip down, smoke a hugo. Oh, and he takes a seat, yeah, flip-flops in the oil, oil rag um, shirt. German leader holds it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. And the leather... Straps, they got to be leather suspenders. On each side, 10 logos of different German beer. 
I mean, how blendy indie can you get? <laughs> you know, and those beers, they're all just from Munich. <laughs> They've got six thousand <clears throat> three hundred and twenty more breweries after these suspenders snap out. Uh, so where's uh, thirty-year-old, thirty-two-year-old? Say thirty if you're around her. Where's she coming from? I mean, this is supposed to be a flashback with a bang? Oh, well, hey, you know, I mean, I can't tell you the whole background story at once. You can't have a flashback frenzy all at once. Because I just have one mouth. Ah. I mean, that's the basic hang-up of human existence, if you're hip enough to visualize what I'm going to tell you, that our major limitation is that we have only one out body per spirit. We could have, we have you know, infinite spirits. Let's go all over the world. All, you know, and then you got to cram that down your throat to one body. Oh, meditate on that. Give you a real buzz, huh? Oh, okay. Wait, a flashback? Huh? Within a flashback? Oh. Oh, this is like the Thousand and One Nights. Stories within stories. Huh? Arabesque. Ambiance. Oh. Um, okay. This is going to blow you so far away. Um, Sappho. <laughs> Sphinx. Remember Sphinx, the Egyptian? Yeah. He's looking for his guru, huh? Uh, he met Sappho and her girlfriend, Saxophone. Well, I called her Sax for short. In old San Juan, Puerto Rico. About a month ago. See, there's no possible spoky segues to what I just told you. You're on your own. You're on an island. You're marooned on an island. And he bankrolled them to, to uh, uh, uncover the two paramount secrets of Greek history. Have I gotten your attention now? Oh. Um, uh, yeah, because uh, Sphinx's Brotherhood of Chemists in San Francisco with the acid lab, they want to synthesize these uh, drugs, these ancient Greek drugs, why? That's another story. Okay, first ancient middle. Oracle of Delphi. Feminine, huh? Woman's room, women ruled. Matriarchy just ran, you know, everywhere. It was more peaceful. Relate and befriend. Don't mm -hmm. put the wooden bat down, Mr. Well, uh, yeah, the Oracle of Delphi, huh? Mm-hmm. She had a good nose because uh, to flip out into divine prophecies, she had to... <sighs> I think I need my natty loaded today. <sighs> the fumes of... What was it? A psychotropic burning plant dried out in the Greek sun, that crackling sun? A drug? A hard drug? Well, I mean, it must have been top shelf material because she ran. Well, you know, one oracle would eventually die and they, she would be replaced. But this, the, the secession of Delphic oracles went on continuously 1,200 years. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, 8th century B.C. to 4th century A.D. <clears throat> oh, Look, this is not a few months run on Broadway, folks, okay? We're talking a serious showmanship and prophecy that gets the job done. Yeah, they got golden chariots backed up all the way to Athens. Bribes and those interpreters of Apollo, huh? oh, they make so much money off these pilgrims. Uh, 
Second enigma. <clears throat> oh, what a, to a intoxicant <laughs> in liquid form. You mean it's not beer? Uh, did the uh, Elysian priests in the Elysian mysteries? Uh, they bedazzled their initiates with what was that? I mean, the initiates came by the thousands, just once a year and just once a lifetime. 22 miles south of Athens every year. And these priests, they would drug the audience. I mean, this is beyond passing out a 24-pack of Heineken at a 49-seat theater. Stand up comedy, think you're funny? Pass out the beer, at least that'll be a little funnier. Oh, to become enlightened by the Elysian mysteries. What, what, slaves, aristocrats, uh, chariot horse trainers, uh, anybody. If you had a pulse, you, you qualify to become, a, 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 go to the Elysian mystery uh, celebration once a year. You know, spectacular theatrics. They passed out these little bowls of, well, that's what, you know, Sphinx, Need Safa to do? What was the, in the liquid? Oh. Sphinx. Oh. He yearns for drug power. Yeah. Oh. 